Oh, hi, I'm Casey Ferris. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on the YouTube. Today we're talking about the Surface Tracker, a brand new thing for Resolve 18. Basically, it's a way to track things onto things that are flowy flowy things like fabric and flags and skin. As usual, there are some amazing things here, so let's check it out. Here we are in the color page of Resolve 18. Now, this is weird that it's in the color page, I think, because this is such a compositing thing, but maybe they have it in Fusion. Let's look. Nope. But over here in the upper right hand corner under our effects, if you type SUR, That'll bring up Surface Tracker. You can put the Surface Tracker on any node. Let's just make a new clip here and I'll show you how this works. So the first thing that you do is grab the Surface Tracker and throw it onto a node. And then you select what part you want to track. So I'd like to start probably about in the middle of my shot. And I'm just going to pretty roughly define a shape here to track. Something like that. And there are all kinds of fancy ways you can draw shapes, you can add holes to things and uh, get really fancy. But for this, we're just gonna stick something to this part of this guy's shirt. So we'll just select that right there. By default, we're in the bounds mode, but we'll switch over to mesh and that will show us this mesh that it's kind of generated. Now, you can adjust this to kind of line up with the folds of the uh, shirt and everything. But by default, this will probably work fine. And I'll switch over to track. And I'm just going to select track forward and then reverse. And we'll let this track through here. And you can see as it tracks, it's kind of morphing and changing as his shirt morphs and changes, which makes this different than something like a planar tracker. So this can actually go with the shirt. Look at it go. And then we can go to result and you can tell it what to do, right? By default, it will warp input two onto one. And you're like, what? What's happening here? Well, you can do a little bit of compositing stuff here in the color page. All you have to do is right click on a node and go down to add open effects input. And now this will kind of merge things together. So I'll go over to the media pool and grab our fancy little cow graphic here. I'll drag this in and that will add an external mat which is stuff that is useful for color things, but for what we're doing, which is kind of hacking together composite in the color page, uh, it's essentially bringing in a picture. We can take this green output and attach it to the green input here, and we'll see it's kind of throwing this over the image all willy nilly. The reason it's doing that is because we're just kind of looking at some random frame from our shot here, but our reference frame is actually frame 61. If we click to go to reference, that will give us these really cool like handles to be able to move this around kind of in perspective. And so it's kind of like a corner pin type of thing. And I'll just kind of put this roughly on his shirt here and we'll move this around to be about the right size and shape that we want. Kind of line this up roughly with his plaid. There we go, there's a little patch. And now if we play this back, you see it kind of looks like it's stuck to his shirt. Pretty cool, pretty cool. To make this a little bit better and to take away the black background and make it look like this is kind of more on the shirt, what we can do is use a layer node here and do, do some more hacky compositing stuff. If we select this node, which I'll label this as our surface tracker, and I'll hit Alt L, that will make another layer node and the inputs here are switched. So I'm going to disconnect those and put our surface tracker on the second layer and our original footage on the first layer. Then we can select this layer mixer here, right click, say composite mode, add, and that will generally get rid of our black, but there's actually a problem. We need to select this surface tracker here and here where it says output, let's say warp input two onto blank. It just kind of puts this over black and let's switch the composite mode to add. And now we'll just add these white pixels onto our background here. Now this is a little bit chunky, so we can adjust that by adding a serial node here before our layer mixer. And I'll go to our blur and push up the blur just a little bit. And I'll also switch to our primary wheels and take our gain down a little bit. The more I do that, the more transparent this will be actually just because we're making this white into gray. And so I'll just take this down just a little bit, just so it mixes with this a little easier. And now we have our little graphic. And now we have our little cow graphic that's stuck to his shirt. Pretty cool little trick. 
we need to do something like that. Of course, it's not perfect. We could do some fanciness, but you get the general idea of what something like this is used for. We could also give him a tattoo if we wanted to do all kinds of fancy things. But that's pretty much the workflow of it is you add the surface tracker to a node in the color page and throw whatever you want to track into a new node to make an external mat, plug it into a second input here, and it'll kind of merge those together and track them. Pretty freaking neat. So there's a quick little overview of the Surface Tracker in Resolve 18. I hope you enjoyed this. And hey, for more Resolve 18 things, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on the YouTube. Hey, you're nice and I like you. I actually don't know you. Maybe I do. You could be somebody that I know. Wow, that's weird, huh? Maybe we've met before. Maybe we'll meet in the future. The future.